name is Alan. I'm from I'm 16 and I'm from Indonesia. Hi, my name is Sora. I'm 14 and I'm from Indonesia. Hi, my name is Yoreda and I'm 14 and I'm from Indonesia too. So our question is, how does my programmability affect the resultant force of a ball in a given spring? We predict that if the ball is lifted up and just let go, then the ball will not move at all. But if force is applied to it, the ball at the other end will move at constant velocity due to almost no friction. The only required force of materials for the experiment is a Newton's cradle. The method for the first experiment is to prefer the Newton's cradle and the shear is stable. Take out the ball at one of the ends. Then call the ball of the blue cell. Observe what happens to the ball. Repeat steps 2 and 3 but with different numbers of the ball. Does the ball move at all? If so, does the ball at the other end move as well due to the momentum from the previous ball? Method for second experiment is prepare the Newton's cradle and make sure it is stable. If of the ball at one of the ends. Apply the force or push the ball in the direction of the rest of the balls in the Newton's cradle. Observe what, observe what happens to the ball with the step to and frequent with the per number of balls. So our question is, is the ball's momentum enough to move the ball at the other end? If so, does the ball at the other end move and then go back in the opposite direction? Or does it continue to move with constant velocity due to microgravity and almost no friction? So those are the questions that we would like to ask. And we hope from our experiment, our experiment can be chosen and be done in space. Thank you.